On this episode of Nerd Help, I will be enlightening you about um, Catholicism and Christianity and its history and basically Unit 1, 2, and 5 of my Religion Unit textbook. Okay, so first word on my um, definition lift is multiculturalism. multiculturalism. Multiculturalism can be defined as a policy or... Policy, I know this. It's a policy or a... A law, a law, I didn't get that part, that recognizes and supports diversity within a society's population. The next one is myth. A myth is um, the stories that talk about how things came to be the way they are today. So myths change based on the religion. They have different ways of how they think that the world became to be the world it is that we live in. Theology is a study of God, in case you're wondering. Um, yep. And religion is basically, it comes from the word religio, that means community, and it means uniting. And let me... Let me check the real definition because clearly I fail at this. Oh, come on, load. It comes from a Latin verb that means to link or together, to tie together. And religions just deal with the sacred mysteries of life. Like what happens when we die, how we came here, why we are the way we are, how we magically appeared on this earth, which is basically how we came here, how the earth came to be in earth, how the world. Personally, I believe in science, but that's a whole different story. But well, let's go on. Syncretism is the attempt to merge all religious, one bunch of different religious beliefs under one main thing, I think. To merge two different religions under one, yeah, 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 that is right. Identify and describe the elements that religions have in common. So, for this one, this is a studying tip for me, you use those stupid acronym things. For me, I have 14 things that I need to note. I can remember them with the acronym, there's revelation, Revelation is one. That's not even an acronym. A revelation is basically the truth of a God. It's like the truth that God gives to the people and you figure that out through your religion. And that's why you come up with like the, the stories that you come up with. So, Rick. That's how I remember it. Rick. Yeah. It's not, it doesn't really spell Rick. But the second one is C. C would be, don't tell me, guys. Don't tell me. C would be not creation. It's not creation or not. It would be creed. And creeds are basically saying, like, I believe, or it's just the common belief that you are supposed to believe in within your religion. What your religion tells you, like the followings of your religion, and you're supposed to believe those because that's your religion. R C R C R C R C. I think I'm missing one. There's R C, then there's H. That would be the history. That would be like where your religion came from, the past of it. Rikma. Rikma. That's the proper one. Then there's myth, and myths are basically, again, those stories of how the world came to be, and they, they change on your religion. So, um, my religion is Catholicism, Christianity, and we, I believe in, like, Adam and Eve. That's the teachings. And then others don't. I don't really know. Like, the Aboriginal people have the whole great spirit dude guide. Yeah, I hope I don't offend anybody who's Aboriginal because I probably did say a bunch of bunch of things there. The Great Spirit Dude Guy. Oh, you're really smart, Jessica. You really know what you're talking about. No, I don't. Okay. Sorry, I'm lashing out. Rikma. The next one is Rikma. Rikma. So the next one is Shimra. Shim. No, Shim. Scripture, I know that one. Scripture, and that's just basically like the 
writings of your church. H does not mean history because we already did that one. So if it's not history, then that means that it is... I don't want to look down, but I need to look down. You know what I'm going through right now? I'm just testing myself and like it's really hard for me. So, um, H. 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 Not history. If it's not history, then that means it must be... I, I honestly have no idea what it is, but I'm going to sit here until I figure it out. H. Mm, come on, come on. Come to me. Come to me like... No. Holy. Holy. I got it. Holy. And that's like the things that you determine that are holy or not. Shim. There has to be another one. I already said myth. There's another M. No. Is there another M? I think there's only two M. Okay, I'm gonna look down. I'm gonna be bad. I'm gonna be... Shra. Shra. I had the wrong one. W. <laughs> it looks so... W is worship, and that's what you worship. Who you worship, whether that be, you know, you worship Jesus, or you worship Shiva, the God, and whatever. And then R is, I think it's rituals, but I don't think it's rituals. No, it is rituals. I was right. It is rituals, okay? And rituals are just basically the things that you perform to be connected to God in your religion. And then there's CMS. That's, yeah, this is how I'm remembering this, okay? It's really dumb, but CMS. I already said creed. So that means that it's the community, and it's a religious community that you're... Every religion has a community of the people who share the same beliefs, obviously. And then M is morality, and then morality is basically saying the way you act and how you should act, the code of, like, conduct for your religion. And S, sacred space. And that's, like, the churches that you declare sacred, the towns that you declare sacred, everything that you declare that your religion declares to be sacred and a holy place. C M S. C S S is the last one. C oh I always have problems with this one. Community 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 I always said community. I always said creed. So that would mean creation? No, it wouldn't. I don't think it is creation. It's cycles. Damn it. And cycles is like, yeah, it's things that occur every year, over and over again, you know what I mean? Then there's sacred time. And sacred time would be the time or events that are sacred. And sacred, 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 what? I baked some peanut butter sacred. pieces from Tigray. Do you want to send a postcard with it? Sacred. Sure, go in my desk and get one. Sacred. You messed me up, Andrea. Sacred time is the time. There are sacred festivals. So right and they happen on. annually. And there's the annual sacred festivals that happen every year. Do you just want me to write something on it? Yeah, okay. Okay, what do I write? And I don't care. Address? And where do I write the address? I don't know. Well, okay, I'm going to go right now.